and the royal family get given such an awful lot of stick. I think they're an absolutely marvellous institution, far better than any that I've escaped from. <laughs> I come from what uh, sociologists would describe as a dysfunctional family. That means that they're all messed up, but they do absolutely nothing about it. <laughs> anyway, um, I like uh, a woman with a little bit of sophistication, you know, the sort that doesn't reckon a, a, a Freudian slip is a lacy number. <laughs> <laughs> I was invited to a party uh, just recently, guys said to me, do you want to come to a party? I said, well, what kind of party? He said, fancy dress. I said, that really isn't my kind of thing. Anyway, what do you think I am? He said, it's all about size 12. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Here's a quick impression for you. That's a motorbike. <laughs> um, I, went a, I went on a date fairly recently, um, and we're talking about horoscopes. And I forgot to tell her that I was talking about Chinese horoscopes at the time. And I said to her, how old are you? She said, 45. I said, you're a dog. <laughs> <laughs> then things sort of went from bad to worse. Um, and I said, uh, um, your hair looks really nice tonight. You've got to be so careful with indentation and pronunciation. I said, what's on your hair, Moose? <laughs> well, um, I was thinking about career change just recently, and I've been offered a couple of jobs. One is a prison officer, and the other is a brothel manager, so I've been really busy weighing up the pros and cons. <laughs>